What is going on guys? Dawn checking in. Welcome to MIT, where we bring nursing to you. So today we are going to talk about the easiest way to interpret your PVCs. But if you haven't already, I highly recommend that you guys check out our EKG video. It will give you basic knowledge about how to interpret your EKGs. You guys got your notes ready? Because I'm ready. Let's go. Hello guys, we are going to talk about PVCs. A PVC is an example of a premature complex. Note the word premature. These premature complexes tend to fire earlier than normal. They can be considered to be the hiccups of your heart rhythm. So what exactly is a PVC? PVC stands for premature ventricular complex. So this is your heart without a PVC. Your conduction goes from the SA node all the way to the Purkinje fibers and then it generates a normal heart rhythm. However, this is your heart with a PVC. This is your premature ventricular complex. They originate here within the ventricles. So what is happening within the heart when PVCs occur? Let's take a look. Here, where there is no PVC, the reading will look like your typical EKG. So when the impulse goes from the SA node all the way to the Purkinje fibers, it will generate a normal P wave right here as atria contract, your QRS complex as ventricles contract, and a T wave as ventricles relax. However, your EKG will look something like this if you have a PVC. When the ventricles initiate a PVC, meaning this complex right here will fire early, you will have a bizarre looking QRS complex. So let's talk about the key characteristics of a PVC. Your PVCs are usually wide and bizarre looking, as you can see right over here. Another Another characteristic of a PVC is that usually these are followed by a compensatory pause right over here. The pause allows the underlying rhythm to continue again at its normal rate as if the PVC never occurred. So the way you're going to interpret your EKG with premature complexes is that you look for the compensatory pause. When you find the pause, you go back to the rhythm prior to the pause. If you see a bizarre looking QRS complex that fired early, this indicates a PVC. Let us now discuss the different different classifications of PVC. We classify PVCs based on the site of origin and the frequency of occurrence. Let's talk about the site of origin. Under this classification, we have what we call a unifocal PVC. Unifocal PVCs originate from a single site within the ventricles, right over here. If your PVC is coming from a single site, your EKG will look something like this. As you can see, the QRS complex of unifocal PVCs look alike. Same shape, same size. Therefore, unifocal PVCs are also known as monomorphic PVCs. On the contrary, we have another classification called multifocal PVCs. PVCs originate from different sites within the ventricles, right there. When you have multiple complexes within the ventricles, your EKG will look something like this. The bizarre looking QRS complexes have different sizes and shapes. That is why multifocal PVCs are also known as polymorphic PVCs. So now let's talk about the frequency of occurrence of PVCs. In in this classification, we are looking at how often these PVCs occur. This usually tells us how irritable the cardiac cells are. The first term to remember for this classification is quadrigemini. Quadrigemini PVCs occur every fourth QRS complex or every fourth beat. The EKG looks like this. As you can see, your compensatory pauses are still here. And if you look at the prior rhythm, you have a bizarre looking QRS complex. And now we are going to count one, two, three, four. There's your PVC. One, two, three, four. There's another PVC. So it's every fourth QRS or every fourth beat. This is quadrigemini PVC. Next term is trigemini. So your keyword here is tri, which means every third QRS complex will have a PVC. This is your trigemini PVC EKG. So you have your compensatory pauses right here. And let's go ahead and count. One, two, three. There's your PVC. One, two, three. There's your PVC. One, two, three. So every third QRS complex or every third beat, you have a PVC. This is your trigemini PVC. And last one is your bigemini PVCs. By its name, by, this means that every second beat or every other beat is a PVC. This is what it looks like. So your compensatory pauses are still here and your PVCs are also there prior to the pauses. Let's count. One, two, PVC. One, two, PVC. One, two, PVC. One, two, PVC. So every other beat, there's a PVC. So let's go ahead and do a quick review. 
The site of origin pertains to unifocal PVCs, where the complex originate from a single site causing PVCs complexes to have a uniform shape and size. The next one is multifocal PVCs, where the complex originate from multiple sites within the ventricles causing PVC complexes to have different shapes and sizes. For frequency of occurrence, we have quadrigemini, wherein the PVC occurs every fourth beat, trigemini, where PVC occur every third beat, and lastly is bigemini, where where PVC occur every other beat. That being said, let's go ahead and apply these two classifications together to name our PVCs. We are going to practice reading EKG strips. The first one is this. So the first thing that we're going to do is look for the compensatory pauses. There's our compensatory pauses. Now we look at the rhythm prior to these pauses. So we have your PVC right here and your PVC right over here. Now if you look at those two QRS complexes, they have different sizes and shape, meaning this is a multi focal PVC. Now let's count. One, two, three. One, two, three. So it's every third beat. But we have to remember that when we are naming our PVCs, we also take into consideration the underlying rhythm. So what is this rhythm? This is what you call a sinus rhythm with multifocal trigemini PVC. Multifocal because there are QRS complexes with different sizes and shape and trigemini because it's happening every third beat. Let's go to another example. Now we're looking at the compensatory pauses. Now we look at the PVCs. These PVCs are the same size, the same shape. So this means that this is a unifocal PVC. Now let's count. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's happening every third beat. That means it's a trigemini. And because the underlying rhythm is sinus rhythm, this is sinus rhythm with unifocal trigemini PVCs. Unifocal because the same size and the same shape. Trigemini because it's happening every third beat. Let's go to another example. Now let's look for the compensatory pauses. There they are. Let's look at the torus complexes. Wide and bizarre. The same shape, the same size. So they are unifocal PVCs. Let's count. One, two. One, two. So it's every other beat. This means that this is sinus rhythm with unifocal bigemini PVCs. Unifocal, the same size. Bigemini, it's every other beat. How about this? Compensatory pauses, compensatory pauses. PVCs, 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 PVCs. Different size, different shape. So this means that it is a multifocal PVC. Now let's count. One, two, one, two. One, two. So what could this be? This is sinus rhythm with multifocal bigemini PVC. Multifocal because they have different sizes and different shape. Bigemini because it's happening every other beat. That's it. That is it for today, guys. I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe button. By doing this, our videos will go straight to you. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys get notified when we upload new videos. Once again, my name is Don, Nyin, signing out. Oh, stay home and stay safe.